Take a look at this big crowd here. Lots of fans here. What's really impressed me tonight is the neighbors. Neighbors loved him. One guy said, you know what? I'm too old. I've never heard his music, but what a great neighbor. What a great kid. In fact, the best kid you'll ever meet. Fans and neighbors leaving flowers, candles, notes on rapper Mac Miller's doorstep. Those close to him struggling with the fact that he is gone at the age of 26. I'm shocked, honestly. Paris Levy lives next door. Stunned to find out Mac Miller died here just before noon. TMZ reporting it was a drug overdose. On social media, many fans blame Miller's death on ex-girlfriend Ariana Grande. Sarah Moore is a big fan and got to meet both Mac Miller and Grande. They just obviously weren't the best for each other, but I feel like people are taking it out a little too hard on her. It's unnecessary. Grande was in concert two days ago in London. So far, she hasn't written anything on social media regarding Mac Miller's death. Fans we spoke with said they could relate to Miller's lyrics because they were so personal. Substance abuse and depression. He saved me in many ways that I couldn't save myself. He helped me with my depression, my anxieties. He just dropped a new album, Swimming and was going on tour next month. In fact, his last tweets Thursday were about that, saying simply, I just want to go on tour. And he was scheduled to appear at the Greek Theater on Halloween night. Reporting live from Studio City, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.